Welcome to this Google Apps screencast where we'll take a look at how to make contact groups. Here I am in Google Docs. One of the tools that is built into the Google suite is Google Contacts and you can get to that up here in the black bar. Google Contacts, when you make contacts groups, they work in all of the different tools. So if you make a contact group and you want to quickly share a document to that contact group, that will be possible. If you want to share a calendar, you want to send an email message, you want to share a site that you're creating, all of that's possible with contact groups. So I'm going to go to Contacts. So when I go to Contacts, over here on the left side, these are different contact groups that I've created. So I made some for groups of teachers, for groups of students. Let's say I'm a teacher that wants to make a contact group of students that I have in my first hour class. This is how you do that process. This is what I found was, I thought, the easiest way. If you go down to the directory choice, this shows everybody that's in the Google Apps for this district. Uh, so what you can do is have your roster out and you can go down and check off the students that are in that class. And this is alphabetical by last name. So this might be somewhat quick just to go down and select the 25, 30 or so students you have in that first hour. Once you've selected those students, you go up to the group menu and at the bottom of that there's a choice to create a new group. So I'm going to create new. I'm going to call this Kafka first hour and I'm going to hit OK. So now it's taken all those checked people and it's put them into this group and that group appeared over here on the left side. So here's Kafka first hour. So that is how you can make a contact group. Let's say you share students with a house like at the middle school uh, and you have 109 students in the 8 red house let's say as an example. One of the nice features of Google Contacts is one of you on the team can go and make that group so take the time go through check off all the students in the house so in this case there were 109 students. You can then export that as a file that you can email to your partners. So how you do that is you first make the group then click on the group go to export and I want to say this specific group so I'm going to choose from the groups I have I'm going to choose the eight red students which format do I want to use I want to use the Google format and I'm going to click export this will ask you to save the file to your computer so I'm going to put it on my desktop and I'm going to name it eight red 2011 2012 I'm going to hit save that will put that file on my desktop. That is a file I will attach to an email. I'll send it to my partners. Then for those that want the group, they can simply come into Contacts, go to More, and Import, and they can choose that file that they got from your email to bring that in, and they will automatically have that group that you created. So that's a great way to share contact groups as well. So that's how you can make a contact group. So now what this does is, let's say I have a document that I want to share. I made my first hour class. Let's say I want to share this document with that first hour class. I go to the share choice. I go down to the add people box and you have to click first in the add people box for this choice to show up, this choose from contacts. So I'm going to click choose from contacts. In this contacts box, the contacts box, there is a drop down menu up here at the top. When I click that drop down menu, I see all of my contacts. And sure enough, here's the Kafka first hour group I just made. So I select that. This shows all the kids. Now, to actually select them, I have to use this tool here right below where it says select. If I click all, this automatically checks all the students, adds them down here, saying that these are the accounts that this will be shared with. I click done. Those names are all brought in. Now you want to be very careful when you share files with students if you want to give students edit rights, comment rights, or view rights. If this was a file where I wanted my students to be able to open it and just read it, I would probably just choose view. And I'll do another screencast later showing some, some different share settings for, for students. You can uncheck or leave this checked for notify, notify people via email. I'm going to uncheck it because I plan to probably just tell my students in class, hey, I just shared this to you, go get it. Click share and save. It'll add them all to that document all at once. So those are the steps for creating a contact group and using it with Google Docs. Thanks for watching.